Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about Word Online. When you're in a document library in SharePoint Online on Office 365, you click this new button, you get this option to select a document. And I'm going to talk about Word Online now, so I'm going to select the Word document. As you see, you're sent directly into a editor that looks very much like Word, but it is in fact the Word Online. You'll recognize all the buttons here, it's, they're exactly the same. On the insert menu you start seeing a lot of things, but you're missing some things here like the smart art and stuff like that. But most of the stuff is already here. So this is a very, very rich editor and very good editor. You'll notice one thing that's missing over here though is the save button. So if I go out there to sales again, you'll notice that I never got the option to save the document. Um, as soon as I leave the document, it is saved by default. So and now I open the document again, and I get the option to edit in Word or in Word Online. So when it talks about Word here, that's the client installed, which is part of Office 365 Pro Plus. I'm going to edit it in Word Online again, and just add some content here. And one function that does work is this equals rand. That's a very nice way to add some example data. And of course, all the other like highlighting stuff works also. Copy, paste, format, painter, good stuff. One thing that Word Online has, and it's much, much better than what Word has, is the, the ability to edit a document, multiple people at, it at the same time. So I'm going to put my Internet Explorer to the left here and open up uh, Chrome to the right, like that. And then I'm going to refresh this page in Chrome. Here you see I'm logged in as Antonio. And he sees the same document. Now, when Antonio goes in to edit this document, he sees the same view, of course. And then he goes in and edits the document in Word Online. And you'll see now that eventually here, I get a message as Peter that Antonio is in here too. And I see where Antonio is doing stuff. And I see where Peter is when I'm as Antonio. So if I change something here, you see now the selection goes over there. And I change that to green. You see, almost immediately there was a slight delay but almost immediately i can see what's going on inside the document so it's very very easy to collaborate on a document and uh, i've seen examples of classes doing this you know, school classes so this is supported into rather high numbers of users collaborating at the same time so it's a rather very cool feature so another thing that if i go out as peter now and then go out of the document see that there go out of the document as Antonio you'll notice that I refresh there I can see that last edit was done by me about a minute ago so the saving is done when somebody leaves the document and Antonio didn't make a change after Peter left the document so that's what happens now you'll notice that the name of the document is document that's not a good name so let me show you how to change that. There are several ways. First of all, you can edit the properties of the documents. Under properties, there you can change the name of the document. You can also add a title, which is a very good thing. You can also go into the document, edit it in Word Online, and then where you would find the files here, you actually have a file and save as. There you have the rename function right there. So if you rename, then you can call it example document. That does not change the title of the document though. There's no title, just the file name. The title is a good thing to have also. So and that concludes my demo and a short introduction to Word Online. Thank you for watching.